Hey everyone, it's me, Donna. <clears throat> Please excuse my voice. I've got a cold. And yeah. Um, but anyway, I'm making this video to talk about an idea that I have that I think would be good in order to deal with the whole illegal immigration situation that we have. Okay. Um, as of recently, you know, everybody's heard about the new. Um, law that Florida came up with that would make people have to be legal in order to uh, to work in that state and all that. Uh, I think that's great. I think that's a wonderful idea. But at the same time, the only problem is then what's going to happen to those people that don't qualify, like that, that are illegal, okay? Uh, yeah, some people can say, okay, that serves them right, and I get that. Um, but at the same time, you know, our government is partially to blame for this mess they helped to bring these people over here them and these greedy companies that they're all buddy buddies with okay uh they created this mess okay a lot of these people would not even be here had they not helped get them here okay and because of that you cannot completely blame these people i mean it's like dangling a carrot or a cookie or cake or anything in front of somebody nine times out of ten somebody's gonna reach for it okay so we have to kind of look at it from that standpoint and um, I, I'm just but at the same time you know I'm tired of of them being allowed to get all the free stuff that our government has to offer but yet a US citizen can't or or it's very very hard and that's not fair either and then also it's not fair that these companies are working these illegal immigrants for little or nothing and you know they're putting in their hard work and sweat and everything into their jobs and uh, you know they're not making as much as a US citizen and the only people that benefit from that are the companies and that's got to stop okay and these companies need to be punished for that if you ask me but since uh, our government don't seem to want to do that, um, this is what we're faced with, okay? All right, I have some ideas for somewhat of a solution. Uh, some people may agree or disagree. You know, that's your choice. Um, some people may think I'm too light. Other people may think I'm too harsh. But, you know, this is the best thing that I can think of since our government is part, you know, partly to blame for this, okay? Um, in my opinion, I think each state should have uh, what I refer to as new state immigration offices, kind of like amnesty offices or whatever, okay? At these offices, people can go and pay a fine. Let me go to where I have that. Okay, you can pay $300 to the state and $500 to the government, which, like I said, you know... It, the officials who might be watching this video and may get some of my ideas, you know, of course, they're going to do what they want to as far as that goes. But this is just an example of what I think would be fair. OK, so a person could come up with $800 for these fines, OK, to pay to the state and to the federal government. And you have to have it up front. OK, also, you will need money for your identification cards and stuff like that. There may be a few other fees small fees or something, uh, paperwork and all that stuff, you know, whatever, whatever gets decided upon, okay, uh, or it may be included in the $800 or whatever, okay, but I'm just saying this as an example, all right, so you pay those fees and all that stuff, okay, well, then you will be given uh, a state ID, uh, a federal ID or whatever you could have both or whatever whatever they the system decides because I think you know this this law has to be passed you know under each state and they need to connect up or or officials need to get together and connect this up with the federal government and that way they can fingerprint you get you ID find out where you came from uh, even if they can't find out where you came from ID you to the best that they can uh, and if they fingerprint you, maybe they can find out, hopefully they can find out if you're some kind of criminal or whatever. And if you are, you get sent right back across that border. Uh, they're not going to bother with uh, getting you to your home state or, or shall I say home uh, country uh, or 
you know, wherever it is that you're in that country, uh, town, whatever, uh, they're not going to bother with that. They, you just got a one-way ticket to the, the other side of that border. And they drop you off, and then you got to figure out where to go from there. Because that's on you, okay? You shouldn't have come here as a hardened criminal, okay? You knew eventually your time would be up. So, that's how I look at it. I don't feel sorry for criminals that are coming here. Drug dealers, um, murderers, rapists, all those types of people. You don't got no business being here. So, you're out, okay? All right, um... I think that you should be given uh, a social security, uh, an immigrant, a legal immigrant social security number, okay, and also a state ID number uh, to where, you know, you can work in whatever state that you're in legally and all that stuff, okay, um, and at that time, you will be given the choice as to whether or not you want to uh, go ahead and do what you need to do to become a U.S. citizen whatever paperwork or fines or whatever else you want to do to do that or you can just choose to be a legal immigrant for you know for the rest of your life or if you decide say like at that time if you just want to be a legal rent immigrant but then maybe two or three years down the road you say well okay I want to be a US citizen then you will have that choice you just go back to the offices and tell them look I want to do what I got to do to become a legal U.S. citizen, okay, and go from there. Okay, under this policy, um, you will be given all the rights as a legal immigrant, as a U.S. citizen, except for the fact that you will not be allowed to vote. You cannot vote in presidential elections or, uh, you know, even state elections or anything like that. You will forfeit that right as long as you remain a legal immigrant, okay? Uh, but you can be, uh, you, you won't be able to be a mayor or anything like that, any kind of politician, but you can be, say, like a council. You can be on the city council, you know, a member of that or anything that's not actually political, as in, you know, mayors and, and um, you know, presidents or... Uh, governors or anything like that you know you just won't be allowed to to do that okay and if you're okay with that and that's fine with you then great you know um, okay under this policy you will be uh, allowed fair wages just like any other US citizen uh, companies cannot discriminate against you they cannot uh, pay you any lower than they would a US citizen that crap is done away with like it, you know, it should be, shouldn't have even existed in the first place, okay? All right. Um, you will be required to pay state tax, state and federal taxes, okay? Just like any U.S. citizen, you will be required to do that. You will be required to file an income tax, just like any U.S. citizen, whether it be state or federal, either one or both. Uh, you will be required to do that, okay? Uh, you will not be allowed to uh, be on any public assistance, no food stamps, no uh, Medicaid, or, um, you know, anything. Like, no housing vouchers, <clears throat> nothing like that, except for you can have one child, and if you're below the poverty level, level Medicaid will pay for one child. One child. Okay? That's it. If you choose to have any more children, that's on you, okay? I, I just feel like, you know, so like if you come here pregnant, then Medicaid will pay for one child. Or if you just happen to get pregnant with one child, then that's it. That They'll pay for that, but no more. You know, this popping out five or six kids on the, the government's dime is, is over with, okay? Except maybe after five years. If you can prove that you've paid into the system, that you went through this process, and then five years later, you you know, you're, you're in poverty and you need help, then fine. Then, you know, you'll be treated the same way a U.S. citizen would be treated in order to get whatever it is that you need, okay? But you'll have to go through the same process as a U.S. citizen. In other words, you will be asked the same type of questions that they get asked, okay? You won't be able to be exempt just because you're an immigrant. No, 
you will have to provide a social security number. You will have to give all the detailed information that anybody else would have to give. Okay. That's just fair. Okay. But also you should be, as long as you remain a legal immigrant, you should have to pay anywhere from one to 3%, depending on the state that you're in. I think each state should be um, allowed to uh, decide whether they want it to be 1%, 2%, or 3%. I don't think it should be any more than 3%, but you should have to pay an immigrant tax of that amount because the, the problem has been that immigrants come here and they have taken advantage of our uh, programs, our social programs, and they have benefited where U.S. citizens have not because it's been geared towards them and it's been unfair and I think this would be a way to make up for that and put some of that money back into the system and make it fair for everybody okay so that one day if you do need it after five years you can get it you, you know and it won't be a drain on the system I just think that's fair uh, people can be mad at me for saying that I don't care but I feel like it's fair okay um, and also, I think children under 18 should be exempt from these fines. If you're brought here under the age of 18, uh, and it can go back 10 years, retroactively or whatever they want to call it, um, I think the government can go back 10 years. And if you can prove that you were brought here as a child under the age of 18, and you were, you know, in the school system and all that stuff, and you can get U.S. citizens such as teachers... Or, you know, anybody else who will stick their neck out for you and sign documents stating that you were brought here as a child, okay, then you're exempt from these fines. Now, you will have to pay to get legal um, identification and stuff like that if you haven't already under our current system. <coughs> but, and, and, you know, you can get whatever, um, you know, you will be allowed to have... Um, social security number and all that stuff just like a you you know a legal resident would be allowed um, but you won't have to pay that fine but after 10 years then I think you know it shouldn't go back any further than that because I feel like if even if you were brought here as a child if you haven't bothered if you're in your 30s or 40s or whatever and you haven't bothered to make some attempt to become a U.S. citizen or at least a legal immigrant, then that's on you. Then, then you should be having, you should have to pay a fine. You know, uh, and th this is outside of whatever fines you'll have to pay when you actually do try to become a, uh, a, a U.S. citizen. You know, I just feel like you should have to pay these fines. Uh, it's only fair, you know, because you've had all the time in the world to do what you should do, okay? But yet you won't go to jail, you won't, you know, you won't have to suffer any terrible consequences, okay? Uh, that's the whole point of this, all right? And and I'm sure there's going to be other exemptions. Maybe if you were mentally challenged and and you know you you know you were brought here in the 1970s or 80s or 90s or whatever, and you haven't, then I don't think. You should be held accountable for that. Like, that's not your, you know, you can't help your mental condition. So I know there's going to be uh, other exemptions that I'm not even thinking of right now. But I'm just throwing that in there. Uh, but anyway, um, and like I said, you will have all the freedoms of a U.S. citizen uh, except for the right to vote in, uh, you know, the political arena. Now, if there's something uh, that doesn't actually have to do with politics... Uh, and, you know, like if they have voting at, at other things uh, that, that just is not politically related, then I think you should have rights for that. I mean, you know, um, and you should be allowed to enter contests, um, sweet states, you know, all that type of things. You will have rights for that. Um, so uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything that I'm not thinking of. But nothing is popping in my head right now. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like I said, I know some people are going to agree and some people are going to disagree. But I just feel like th this, in my mind, this would be some type of good thing. And I really hope that, you know, if 
any state representatives or governmental representatives do have to, you know, or do, do have to, do end up coming across this video, I hope that it inspires you to get something like this going. Because if you just keep passing laws that even though it's great to pass a law to where you have to be legal to work, but then what? I mean, you've got to have something that will fix the problem because then that's going to create a worse problem that somebody else is going to have to deal with or that can cause uh, rampant corruption. So you got to try to fix the problem. I I'm all about trying to find solutions that are fair, you know. So anyway, <clears throat> I reckon we will talk to you guys later. Bye.